if the Russians, uh, apart from supplying the technology, supply the training, the tasking of the satellite, because right now it is a civilian satellite, it needs to be tasked, adapted to a military uh, mission. Uh, they could do that or they could just give the material to the Iranians. They've done that in the past with the S-400 uh, anti-missile. So uh, that's, that's a game changer if the Russians are going to advise and train uh, Iranian crews to operate this satellite. Uh, it is a game changer uh, more into the ballistic program, meaning this satellite will be used to help uh, aim better ballistic missiles. It's not just the spying. The spying is not so disquieting. The spying can be jammed. There are today techniques to jam the imagery that would be sent to that satellite. There are uh, all kinds of tricks to like disinform or misinform the satellite. Uh, uh, whatever the satellite will see, a uh, huge army bases in Israel. Everybody knows where they are. Even uh, a simple citizen could see it on the map. Uh, so it's more like when there are maneuvers to observe the big military maneuvers. But even though it doesn't help much Hezbollah to know how we maneuver or not, because Hezbollah would be mainly attacked by the air force and artillery, and that's not very important to know how they're deployed. Uh, so the main real threat is how they could use it to in, improve their uh, ballistic missile capacity, which is actually the main threat today. We speak a lot, a lot about the nuclear, but the nuclear is a bit of a science fiction yet, because even if you have the nuclear, doesn't mean you're using it. Pakistan, uh, whereas ballistic missiles are real uh, present threats to Israel and the region. And so, uh, another question, just you already started to, to touch on it, uh, what Israel could do. Now, the question is, is if Israel could use this potential satellite as another sort of target. We've seen Israel attributed to many sometimes mysterious attacks in Tehran, in uh, the greater area of Iran as well. Is this a potential target for Israel? It is a potential target, and Israel has the technology technology for it. Uh, it's two ways. There is, uh, first of all, there is the very old way, but it's of course a very sophisticated weapon. There are missiles that can, uh, these uh, satellites are in the lower um, atmosphere, mm -hmm. not, not far away. So there are missiles that can reach these satellites, just destroy the missile, just the satellite, explode it. Uh, uh, the other way, as I said before, is, is jamming, is disrupting all the communications. Uh, these satellites depend on all kinds of relays to, to, to get the imagery all the way back up to the the satellite, and that can be disrupted in electronical ways, uh, jamming. Uh, there are all kinds of uh, possibilities there. Uh, right now, nobody has ever really uh, uh, attacked an enemy satellite, but the Americans are known and the Russians to have destroyed their own satellites, or old uh, old satellites that were not in use anymore for for practice, and it's very well. It's very easy to do.